This state is the third most populous and the fourth largest economy in the United States. Also, this state is the only one to have an embassy in Washington, D.C. with beautiful beaches, world famous amusement parks, and the wonderful nickname, the Sunshine State. You guessed it. In this video, we are talking about the state of Florida. The name Florida was given by the Spanish explorer and conquistador Juan Ponce de Leon in 1513, who called it La Florida, which is the Spanish name for flowery or something covered with flowers. And it was also named for the term given to his arrival, which was during the time of Easter. So naturally, they would call his arrival day as Pascua Florida, which means something along the lines of flowery feast. The state of Florida is located in the southeastern United States, between the Atlantic Ocean to the east and the Gulf of Mexico to the west. The bordering states are Georgia to the north and Alabama to the northwest. Florida is the southernmost state in the continental U.S. and it is particularly close to the Bahamas and several Caribbean countries, particularly Cuba, which is only about 90 miles away. The capital of Florida is Tallahassee and Jacksonville is the largest municipality in the state. The Miami metropolitan area is the largest urban area in the state with more than 6 million population. And it's the seventh largest metro area in the country. Other major cities with more than 1 million population include Tampa Bay, Orlando, and like I mentioned earlier, Jacksonville and the state of Florida is divided into 67 counties. This is the flag of Florida, and this is its state seal. The flag consists of a red cross on a white background with the state seal of Florida in the middle. The red cross on the white background symbolizes the Spanish cross of Burgundy, which was used at the time. The official Florida state bird is the northern mockingbird, and the flower is the orange blossom. The state tree is the sable palmetto, and the official reptile is the American alligator, which is very common in Florida. The state motto is, in God we trust, as we can see on the state seal and the flag and the nickname of the state is the Sunshine State, and its two-letter code is FL. Most of Florida, and that includes the peninsula and the Big Bend region, follows the U.S. Eastern Time, but half of the Panhandle region, the little bit that sticks out with Tallahassee in it, half of that Panhandle region, west of the Apalachicola River, follows U.S. Central Time, so that is very interesting. With an estimated population of over 21 million people in 2020, Florida is the third most populous state in the United States. Located between the Gulf of Mexico and the Atlantic Ocean, over 75% of its population lives within 10 miles of the coastline. Florida is a retiree state as it has the highest percentage of people over 65 years old in the country. About two thirds of the population was born in another state, the second highest in the US after New York. And given its proximity to Central America, Hispanics and Latinos make up to one fourth of the state's population. And it has a large Cuban expatriate community. 
The state's close proximity to the ocean influences many aspects of Florida culture and daily life. And Florida is a reflection of influences and multiple inheritance. African, European, indigenous, Latino, and Asian heritages can all be found in the architecture and the cuisine. Owing to its weather and its beautiful beaches, Florida has attracted many celebrities, political figures, and athletes to have resorts or luxury estates. With more than 7,700 lakes and 4,510 islands, Florida is the world's boating and fishing capital. And if you're in Florida, then you're never more than 60 miles away from the nearest body of salt water. So of course, the ocean is a major part of Floridan culture. Florida is the flattest state in the United States and the only one that borders both the Atlantic Ocean and the Gulf of Mexico. And Florida has the longest coastline, 1,350 miles in the contiguous United States. And probably because of that, hurricanes have become a constant threat to Florida. Florida has the lowest high point of any U.S. state. Its climate varies from subtropical north to full tropical in the south. It's warm year-round, and swimming is also possible year-round, especially in South Florida, one of the closest places in the continental U.S. which you can get to the equator. Florida is the only continental state that has both a tropical climate and a coral reef. I mean, how cool is that? Native Americans inhabited this peninsula region as early as 14,000 years ago. And Florida was the first region of the continental United States to be visited and settled by Europeans. The earliest known European explorers came with the Spanish conquistador Juan Ponce de Leon, who spotted and landed on the peninsula on April 2nd, 1513, and gave it its name, La Pascua Florida. And at various points in its colonial history, Florida was administered by Spain and Great Britain and it was eventually admitted to the United States of America as the 27th state on March 3rd, 1845. Florida was the principal location of the Seminole Wars from 1816 to 1858, the longest and most extensive of Native American wars in United States history. Florida was also one of the seven original Confederate states which fought against the United States during the American Civil War in the 1860s. Florida's $1 trillion economy is the fourth largest of any U.S. state. And if it was a country, then Florida would have the 16th largest economy in the world. Tourism has become the state's major source of economy. Major theme parks like Walt Disney World, Universal Orlando Resort, SeaWorld Orlando, Legoland Florida, and Busch Gardens Tampa Bay are major attractions for which Florida has become the world's theme park capital. The state of Florida has become a popular vacation spot because of these theme park attractions, white sand beaches, and cruises headed for the Caribbean not far away. Agriculture also plays an important role in its economy. For example, 70% of oranges produced in America come from Florida. Plus, NASA has its most important space center Kennedy Space Center right here in Florida that launches astronauts into space. And in fact, 
the world's first scheduled passenger airline service operated in Florida between St. Petersburg in Florida and Tampa starting January 1st, 1914. Also, Florida doesn't actually impose income tax, and that's why it's a popular destination for retirees to settle down. And sports are a really big deal in Florida. Let's start with football. The Miami Dolphins and Tampa Bay Buccaneers are the two major NFL teams from Florida and 17 out of 55 Super Bowls were played in the state of Florida alone. And that is almost one third of them. And the greater Miami area itself hosted the Super Bowl a record 11 times. And the Tampa Bay area hosted the Super Bowl five times, including the latest Super Bowl 55 on February 7th, 2021, between the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and the Kansas City Chiefs. Now, the power drink Gatorade was originally formulated for the University of Florida Gators, which has now become a popular refreshing drink worldwide, and also my personal favorite drink. Next, auto racing. Florida plays a very important role in the auto racing field as NASCAR itself is headquartered in Daytona Beach. And NASCAR begins all three of its major auto racing series in Florida at Daytona International Speedway in February. And it ends them in November at Homestead Miami Speedway. And then in golf, the PGA Tour and the PGA of America are headquartered in Florida. And finally, basketball. The Miami Heat has won the NBA championships three times. And my personal favorite basketball player, LeBron James, played for the Miami Heat from 2010 to 2014. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you like my videos, then make sure to subscribe and don't forget to click the bell icon so you don't miss my new videos every time I upload. Once again, thanks so much for watching. Love you. Akash.